Hallelujah. Father, we praise your name. We give you thanks. We give you honor. We give you glory, Lord. We bless your awesome name this evening. Father, there is none like unto you, Jesus. So we enter your gates with thanksgiving in our hearts. We enter your courts with praise. We are thankful unto you, God. Father, we bless your holy name. There is none like unto our God this evening. There is none that can be compared to our God. Our God is awesome. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. We bless your name, mighty God, Father, Lord God. We bask in your presence. We recognize your authority right now. We recognize your lordship in this place. There is none like God. You are awesome in all your ways, God. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Let me take this opportunity to invite us all to stand to our feet as we get ready to usher in a time of praise, a time of worship, a time of celebration, a time of revival and right where you are in your own space. At this time, I invite you now to begin to worship to the audience of one. Just a little moment with you and your God right now. As we prepare ourselves this evening for worship in your own unique way. This is a time where you... Forget about the person who's next to you. Forget about who's behind you right now. It's just time for you and God. For you to empty yourself. For you to ask the Holy Spirit to come right now. To let the Holy Spirit know that you are here. And you're here to give praise. And you are here to give worship. That you are here to make a joyful noise. Unto the Lord, all the lands. You're here to serve the Lord with gladness. You came to hear, to, to hear from God. You enter his gate with thanksgiving this evening. We enter your courts with praise. We're so thankful unto you, God. Father, we bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name, God. We bless your name, Jesus. Oh, God. It's me again, God. Lord Jesus, I'm here in your presence. Just bless the Lord. Just bless the Lord. Just bless the Lord. Just open your mouth. Open your mouth. Just begin to sing a praise unto God. This is before we get into corporate worship this evening. This is just about you and God. Oh my God, I don't have to tell you how to praise God. You know how to praise God. You know how to worship God. You know how to invite the presence of God. You came to this evening with a praise in your mouth, with a praise in your being. God has been good to you. God has been good to me today. I don't need someone to tell me to praise God. I don't need to tell someone to tell me to lift my hands as I enter into the courts. As I enter, I came with a praise. I came with a worship. I came, Lord God, with my cups all ready, filled and running over. I came with something. Oh my God, I'm not waiting on my neighbor. I am not waiting on a worshiper. I'm not waiting on the musician. I came to worship. If you came to worship, 
Open your sanctified mouth. Open your sanctified mouth. Lift a praise unto God. Lift up a praise unto God. He's worthy. 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 Worthy of all praises. Oh, just open your mouth this evening. Let the Holy Spirit fill it with words this evening. Just look up to your Father. Just look up to Daddy Jesus and say, I'm a Father. I'm here again. It's me again, Lord. I came to worship God. I came to empty myself, Lord. I came, Lord God. I'm coming to the throne room. Ask God to come and tabernacle with us this evening. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We give you honor, Lord. God is worthy to be praised. Listen, you're going to get out of tonight's service that which you put into it. That which you invest into the service tonight. So don't let somebody hinder you. Don't let a situation hinder you from giving God the ultimate praise this evening. We bless your name. We worship you, mighty God. Oh, Father, 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 Father. Come on, even right now. Even right now. Even right now. Even right now. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Oh, welcome the Holy Spirit. Welcome the King of Kings and welcome the Lord of Lords. He's coming, Lord God. He's already here. Oh, welcome him. Oh, come be. Begin to sanctify. Sanctify yourself, Lord God, tonight in the name of Jesus. Come on, charge the atmosphere. Even right now, charge the atmosphere. Right now, right now, right now. Keep worship. Keep, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, confuse the enemy with your praise. Confuse the enemy with your praise this evening. Confuse the enemy with your praise. Oh my God, 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 my God. Even from the beginning of the service, charge the atmosphere right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. We worship you, my God. Even right now, God. As our praises go up and we concentrate on the Holy Spirit, we invite exalted. Chevenese Billing Reed. She's coming to do the official prayer. Keep, just keep worshiping, keep worshiping, keep worshiping, keep worshiping at this time. We bless your name, we bless your name, we bless your name, we bless your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, Rebandu Kushaka Rebanda Rabakasatai. Oh, glory, Jesus, the presence of the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah, Jesus. El Elyon, the Most High God, Renda Bakutai, Rimandika Soto, Rikande de Bekosatai, Reba Baba Baba Zikandola Bokushatai. Come on, lift your praise in the atmosphere before we utter our request. Reba Baba Kusekendola Bakusete, Renda Bakusan. Tatai, Ribandi Boko Sukutai, Randu Bukusai, Didi Biko Second de la Bakusete, Ribai Kusen de la Bakusete Leva Kushata. Hey, glory, 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 Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor, Jesus. Father, we welcome your holy presence in your house, Jesus. Uh, we welcome, we welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you. Come on, pray with me. We welcome you, we welcome you, Jesus. Uh, Father God, from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, uh, your name is worthy to be lifted up. Uh, oh, you're the God that sits upon the circle of the earth. Uh, the God who's from everlasting to everlasting. Uh, Lord God, you're the bright and morning star. Uh, you are the rose of Sharon, Jesus. Jesus, mighty God, you spoke and it is. Lord, you commanded and it stood fast. Father God, tonight your word declares that we're two or more gathered, Father, touching anything concerning you, God. You are in the midst. And so, God, we don't have to fear. We don't have to worry because you are here, Jesus. And so, Father, because you are here, we celebrate you. We glorify you. We bless your name. We reverence you. You. we lift you up father god tonight we place oh god the proceedings of tonight's conference before your jesus lord god almighty lord we lift up oh god our moderator lord god we pray for a special anointing upon him god we pray you'll unctionize him by the holy ghost father we pray oh god for the worship team that's coming god holy ghost we pray you'll baptize them with fire. Holy Ghost, I pray that out of their bellies will flow rivers of living water. Lord God, every dryness begin to stir them again. Baptize them afresh with your fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God, every person who will take part tonight, God, we pray for the blood of Jesus upon them. From the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet, we baptize them in the blood. The blood of Jesus, Oh God, we overcome by the word of her testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we release the blood, the blood all over this atmosphere. The blood, the blood, the blood. We release 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 the blood. Ring the katatatai. Lord God to the north. The south, the east, and the west. Rekatata makundai. We release your blood. Rekatata makusata. Lord God, as Ezekiel prophesied to the four winds, even now, God, we summon your spirit over the four winds of this nation. Rekatata makusata. That they will heal. Rekatata. Yield to your will. Yield to your power. Rekatata. Lord, we subdue every forces of darkness. We back up. We back up the work of darkness. And we declare victory. Victory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, we lift up, oh God, your man servant. We lift up, oh God, your man servant. Come in, oh God, to release the word. The word that you're placed in his spirit. Mighty God, I pray that you will cloak him in anointing afresh. Lord God Almighty, I pray you will unctionize him. That he will speak thus, saith the Lord. Without fear nor favor. God, I pray, oh God, that the hearts of your people will be receptive to receive your word. They'll receive your word tonight, God. Lord God, Sanda, Holy Ghost, have your way, God. Have your way in this atmosphere. Have your way from the rustum to the pew. From our musicians, everybody connected. Oh God, Reba Baba Sanda to those video in the service. Our engineers, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Those who are not saved, God. Let the spirit of conviction sit upon them even now tonight. Holy Ghost, arrest them. Arrest them by your spirit. Arrest the unsaved young man. Arrest the unsaved young woman tonight, God. For your glory. For your glory, 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 Jesus. We give everything into your hands, God, for your glory and your praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Somebody make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All the lands. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful. Come on, make a joyful noise. Revival. Revival has come to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I don't know about you. Let me see those who were here last night in person. Oh, you're better than me. I was at home and thank God for ITFX and the power. I said, I can only imagine what it was like being here physically last night. Were you blessed last night? Come on, were you blessed last evening? And are you here to take it a little higher tonight? Are we about to take it a little higher? Come on, come on, come on. Are you like Abraham? Are you obedient to the voice of God? To say, come up higher, come up higher, come up higher. Come up higher, come up higher, come up higher. A higher level of worship. A higher level of praise tonight. Come on, tell your neighbor, if you have to stay there, I'm leaving you there, <laughs> but I feel the Holy Spirit. I feel the, come on somebody. I feel the Holy Spirit telling me to come up higher, come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. Come up, come up. Is there somebody who's going to stand for St. Vincent tonight? Is there somebody who's going to stand in the way for St. Vincent and the Grenadines tonight? A uh, 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 blood covering, a uh, blood wash for a shaking in the nation. Come on, come on, come on. You believe that, you believe that. Even from now, from now, from the power. Come on, open your mouth. We are going higher, we are going higher, we are going higher. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless. I'm excited. Lord God, today, all day I've been waiting. I couldn't wait. When I look at the time this evening, I say, I can't wait for 7 o'clock. If the devil know he could have turned back time, but he's not that powerful. This is God's time. This is St. Vincent time. We have been under bondage for too long, my God. Did you receive that word last night? Lord God, at this time, it's time for worship. Are you ready to worship? Come on, musicians. Are you ready for worship? Are you ready for worship? Ah, oh, come on, put your hands together as we welcome. The dynamic, the worshippers, a group of people who know how to worship and how to lead God's people into worship. Put your hands together as we welcome the exalt him worship team. Hallelujah. Come on, keep clapping for Jesus. Isn't he wonderful? Isn't he glorious? And we are going to call him tonight. Because we know it's in his name. We are free. In his name we live. We move. We have our being tonight. Hallelujah. Are you ready to call on other night tonight? I didn't hear you. Are you ready? To enter into a space where you just talk to God. Because he is worthy. He is worthy. Come on, just worship him. Tell him something about himself tonight. You are worthy, Lord. You are glorious. You are mighty. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Nisi. You are Adonai tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody, lift your voice and sing Adonai.
is worthy. Come on, keep praising. Keep thanking him tonight for all that he has done. He is good. He is awesome. And he's worthy to be praised tonight. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So let's just continue to declare. Lord, you are good, and your mercy endure it forever. Hallelujah. Are we witnesses of that tonight? That he's a good God. He's a good God.
bless your name, oh God. We call you to arise and take your place in this land. Hallelujah. Because greater things are yet to come. Greater things are still to be done in the city. And I hope we're not just singing these songs. Because this song was written a long time ago. And a lot of times we sing it. And we know greater things are yet to be done. But we now do not. Amen. So I hope that this move will continue. So that St. Vincent and the Grenadines can know that he's the God of the city. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You're the God of the city. Hallelujah, hallelujah, come on. Show some appreciation for the exalt team. Worship ministries. Let tonight by dynamic. My friend, my sister. Minister Cheryl and Denny Edward. Come now, raise your hands above your head and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. You may have your seats briefly. Take a load off. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. I'm still excited to be in the presence of Almighty God. Come on, somebody shout. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. We want to get the program going because we... We have a powerful word tonight. Somebody believe that? There's a word for somebody tonight. We are in the city. We just sang greater things are yet to be done in Kingstown, 
St. Vincent. Revival has come. Come on, somebody. Revival has come. I don't know about you, but guess what? I've been watching this movement all along from my living room in New Jersey. Hello, somebody. When they went to Kingston, Jamaica, and when they went to Florida, uh, to Canada, and my good friend Pastor Ruth was telling me every time, I'm going in, I'm going, I'm going, and I say, Lord God, I wish. But I say, I will not miss it when it comes to these shows of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Revival has come. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. At this time, we want to give an offering unto God. How many of us know that that is a part of our worship? Come on, somebody. That's a part of our worship. Unto God. All of this, it, it costs money. There's no entry fee. Hello, somebody. I listened carefully last night. Pastor Ruth said there were some envelopes. Maybe you took an envelope last night. It's not too late. The ushers are, are going through. You can get an envelope tonight. Hello. And you can sow a seed. I'm not here to teach. We, we, we are wise people here. We know about sowing. And if you sow, when the water is troubled, hello somebody, it will come back to you. So it is time for giving. So at this time, I'm going to invite my friend, Pastor Leon Williams. Come on, show some appreciation for the man of God. Victory Kingdom Covenant Ministries International in Stubbs. We're going to invite him this evening to raise tonight's offering. Hallelujah. 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 Well, praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me say a very pleasant good night to everyone. Amen. Praise God. Blessed night to Bishop Pete Pinnock and... Uh, Bishop Brown, amen, our own bishop here, uh, Bishop Wendell Roberts, amen, praise God, all the pastors, all the leaders of churches, amen, a very pleasant good night on behalf of my wife and all the members of Victory Kingdom Covenant Ministries. We are so, so delighted to be here and to be a part of what God is doing in the city. Amen. When my good friend, uh, Pastor Ruth, called me today and uh, asked me if I would consent to raise an offering, raise the offering for this evening, my first thought was no, actually no. And then I said to myself, um, we have such a good relationship. We work so well together. I cannot say no to Pastor Ruth. Amen. So therefore, I give consent to be here. Uh, I don't raise offerings. I believe that the people of God, when you, when you look around and you see all of this, you see these men, men of God, leave their homes, leave their family, leave the churches to bring this to us. You, you are in a lovely air-conditioned building. You see all of these musicians, top-of-the-line musicians, playing their heart out. Amen. Hallelujah. You see so much things, uh, Pastor Randy, that is happening here. I don't, I, 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 I ask myself, what would it really take for the people of God to arrive and support, arise, sorry, and support something like this? Amen. And, and you know, oftentimes I get trouble in my spirit concerning the people of God. Because Jesus used a statement, the children of darkness, they are wiser than the children of light in their generation. And you know, I am determined with 
my wife because we stand together. And everything we stand together. We are determined that nothing or no one will be wiser than us in our generation. Amen. Hallelujah. This is, listen, listen. This is our time. This is our generation. And, and listen, no one is going to outgive me when it comes to the kingdom. Nobody. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you a short testimony. Uh, where, where are the ushers? Can you come and stand here, please, with this basket? And bring the envelopes. And I'm going to challenge you tonight to give. Amen? When, this, when these meetings are over, there must be no expense. Leave here. Amen? On our CEA family. Amen? I am a part of this family. And, and I want to challenge you tonight. When we leave Canada, when we leave Canada, and we came to St. Vincent, we know that we had to start a work. Amen. And I don't know if it was my stupidity or the Holy Spirit was leading me, but we planned to build this house of God, myself and my wife. We plan to build it, Bishop. We didn't think about anybody teaming up with us. Are you with me? And when we came to the church and we laid out the plan, we, we, people, um, members began to say, no, you can't do this by, all this by yourself. You, you, you can't do this alone. But we know that we can do it. Amen. And we, we, we set out. We set out to begin to do this, this building. Uh, we started out with $20,000, under $20,000. And uh, we begin to build according to the blueprint that God has given to us. And uh, when the building, we, 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 when it reached, when it was down to crunch time, when it was down to crunch time, we had some monies set aside for our daughter's university. And uh, I went. I don't know again if it was stupidity or the Holy Spirit leading me. And I, we took that money. I took that money. I didn't even tell, tell my wife. It's after she asked, where is the money? I say, I put it into the church. Are you with me? Are you with me? Our daughter is in university now. She is in her third year. Are you with me? She is in her third year, going to her fourth year, and we never asked anyone for a dime. We didn't beg for anything. The Holy Ghost, God provided every dime that we need. Listen to me. The psalmist said, in Psalms 37 and verse 25, I have been young. And now I am old and I have never seen the righteous forsaken and his seed begging bread. My children will not beg bread because why? I'm a giver. Amen. Hallelujah. We are givers. We give to the kingdom. Hallelujah. All that we have. Listen, the last desperate effort that we did. And I, I know much people, even um, much of our members don't know this, is that we put up our house for sale and said we're going, to, we're going to use the money to build the house of the Lord. Amen. That is our heart. When God affects your heart, your finance becomes nothing. Hallelujah. And you can give it all to God. Amen. Why? Because God owns everything. The cattle on a thousand hill belongs to him. Hallelujah. And money is not anything for God to give you. Hallelujah. So I want you to look at what is happening here tonight. You cannot buy spiritual things. Let me repeat that again. You cannot buy spiritual things. Lean it up the treasures on the earth where mud and rot does corrupt and where thieves 
break through and steal, but lay it up. Lay it up. Hallelujah. And tonight, you is an opportunity that has been given to you for you to sow into this what is happening in the city. What is happening here is affecting all of our lives and it is affecting the churches throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So I want you to stand. Is there somebody who, who's going to pray for the offering? Amen. I want you to stand with me. I want you to stand. Come on, stand everybody. Please stand. I, I, don't, I don't love to push people. I don't love to force anybody to do anything. I believe every man is free. Amen. And when you look around, you, if the God in you, you should be free to act. And tonight you should be free to give. With the authority in, of this house, I'm going to stretch my hands over you. And I'm going to declare a blessing over you. Hallelujah. Let us pray, everybody. Father, we worship you because you are God and there is none other. You are awesome. You are magnificent. There is nothing or no one to compare with you. Everything belongs to you. You own everything. God, and I pray tonight, we declare as your people would stretch their hands to eliminate these expenses from this crusade. Father, not just to eliminate the expense, but they will have leftovers. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands that you will bless. You will bless. Father, the blessing will flow down to their children. For you say, the psalmist said, we have never seen the righteous. Who are the righteous? We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So I bless you. I bless you. I declare that your bread basket will never empty. And your dish will never run dry. You will have more than enough as, as you give tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. And these monies, God, will be used to further your kingdom in the earth. In Jesus Christ's precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. You can come forward now. And if you don't have the money tonight, take an envelope and determine in your heart you're going to give. Take an envelope and when you come tomorrow night, place that money in that envelope and bring it forward. May God bless you. Come on, come on people, come. Come. Give to the Lord. I have come to give back to you. I have come to say thank you, Lord. I have come to give back to you. I have come
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. It will return good measure. Press down. Shake and together. And running over. Bless the Lord. Thank you. You may have. You see, it's at this time I invite Deaconess Natalie Constance. She's going to come at this time to do the official welcome this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give it up for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Glory. I want us to welcome in our midst the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And we're going to stand and do that. Hallelujah. Glory. It's such a lovely sight to see so many of us gathered here together. We're not all from one ministry. Hallelujah. And uh, you know, the Bible says, for where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I there with them. And I give God praise and thanks that we can all be gathered here tonight. Hallelujah. Where we can come together to worship, where we can come together in unity. And you heard Pastor Leon stressing it a while ago. It's good when God's people can come together and give honor unto him. And now I give honor unto the founder of this assembly, Bishop Enos Brown, our presiding bishop. <laughs> bishop Dr. Pete Pinnock, our regional overseer. We welcome also Pastor O'Neill Mattox from Jamaica CEA. Our very own Pastor Ruth Constance. We welcome our associate pastor and uh, our minister, Pastor Stuart Malcolm and Minister Chanel Malcolm. Minister Diane Kittels, who traveled all the way from Texas to be here with us. Hallelujah. Welcome, Minister Kittels. We welcome the deaconesses and the exhorters of CEASVG. Our elder, Elder Anitha Sargent. All our mothers in the house, welcome. We welcome also all our, our various ministers from different ministries. And we have with us tonight... Bishop Wendell Roberts from the New Life Ministries, New Grounds. Pastor Leon Williams from Victory Kingdom Covenant Ministries. Pastor Ophelia Little. Pastor Collis, Pastor Aaron Collis. Evangelist Kelani Julian from Rehoboth Ministries. Sister Okola Patrick from the Belen New Testament. <laughs> Apostle Julian Parrish from the Throne Room Ministries International. <laughs> Pastor Elroy Foster from the Light of Hope Ministries. <laughs> we welcome all members who came here with them. And we also want to give an esteemed welcome to our, our own moderator, Pastor Randy Boucher. It is a privilege to have worshiping with us the Exalt Him Ministries. You, took, you did such a wonderful job setting the atmosphere with your worship. Mr. Junior Mason and crew, who is in charge of the sound system, we welcome you. Mr. Paul Games and the crew of ITFX, welcome. Mr. Marilyn Stevenson, who's always there with us, welcome. Our photographer, Mr. Robertson, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I take this time also to welcome our musicians. Thank you so much, 
our atmospheric engineers. Hallelujah. I pray that as we continue tonight, that we will all open our hearts to receive. I pray that we came expecting a blessing and that we leave here with that blessing. Hallelujah. Just continue to open your hearts and continue to worship God. Blessings on you. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Deaconess. And there are several hundreds of persons across the vast world. So just give them a wave. Just give them a wave. Thank you, ITFX. Hello to those in Jamaica. Hello to those in Canada, in New Jersey, all over the world. Just give them a wave, a nice Vincentian wave. And we thank Revival in the City for being here with us. I have not seen Prophetess Kittels in a long time. <laughs> amen, amen. And a lot of these persons, I'll get to touch flesh with them. I've been seeing them online since COVID. Early in the morning and late at night through fasting. I'm so happy to see all of you. All of you here in St. Vincent. Welcome, welcome, welcome. At this time, I invite Evangelist Pat Chambers. He's coming from Calvary Evangelistic Assembly in Patterson, New Jersey, USA. A warm Vincentian welcome to our sister who will come at this time to bring us greetings. first give honor to the spirit of God in the house. We honor God. We worship him. We love him. He is our source of total supply. We are honored to be in his presence. Amen. Amen. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah for your blessing. Hallelujah. 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 And if you praise him, your blessing will come to you. Hallelujah! 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 St. Vincent, God loves you because we have revival in the city. That's how we know God loves you. God doesn't send people to a city that are not special. God sent the prophet, uh, and uh, our presiding bishop uh, and the team uh, to tell you, repent uh, or perish. Repent uh, or perish. Repent uh, or perish. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, Evangelist. At this time, we are preparing to hear from the ministry of a wonderful sister in Christ, a dynamic servant of God. She is my sister from another mother and my sister in Christ. We know her throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines. One of the very best. Come on, somebody. One of the very best that we are producing St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, help me make welcome this evening, Minister Pern McMaster. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody say glory. Come on, church of God, say glory. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Somebody say glory be to God. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be lifted up. He's an awesome God. He's an awesome God. Can I just have you stand for just a couple? Before we bring on the man of God, I just want to give God 
what is due unto him. I give him honor. I give him glory. Give me vision mm. to see things. 
things like you do. Oh, Lord, I look to you. You're where my help comes from. Give me wisdom. For you know just what to do. Yeah. How many of you believe that your help comes from him today? You know, Lord, you know. Ah. Come on, help me sing, Lord, I look to you. Lord, I look to you. Ah. I won't, I won't be, be overwhelmed. overwhelmed. Give me vision. Give me Jesus, no one else Give but you, Jesus. Hooray. Mm-hmm. 
someone is receiving their deliverance it's in your praise it's in your praise it's in your hallelujah ah bless the lord somebody bless the lord bless the lord hallelujah god is worthy to be praised you may have your seats bless the lord inadvertently forget to welcome cheryl joseph all the way from Grenada. We understand that she's leaving tomorrow, so we want to give her an opportunity to greet the people of God. At this time, we're putting you on the spot. So put your hands together and welcome Sister Cheryl Joseph, all the way from the Spice Isle, Grenada to the south. She'll bring greetings to us. The Revival Choir, get ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, someone. Let us shut back the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us barack the name of Jesus, the one who was and is to come, the soon coming King. Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I bring greetings from my pastor, Bishop Dr. Anthony George from Guabupum Bible, House of Praise, Grenada, the island of spice, where everything is nice in Jesus Christ. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be here tonight. I thank God for his mercy and his grace for allowing me traveling mercies to be here. And I'm so thankful and grateful to be in the room with all of my fellow Vincentians that I haven't seen in a while. So thank you for having me. Have a great night. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. The best part of the service is yet to come. I love a good worship, but give me a solid word that comes after that worship. Do I have someone with me like that? I want to hear what God has to say to me. Listen, I told the church the other day, I am one of those who will say, Preacher, preach on me. Preach on me. Whatever God said, whatever God told you to tell me, I want to hear it. Come on, preach on me, preacher. Preach on me, preacher. Preach. I want a word tonight. And just in case, the speaker tonight is a good one. You may want to refresh yourself and get some water. That's the only thing we are selling during the service. Hello, somebody. You could quench your thirst. You can get that. But at this time, while the revival choir is coming, it's my honor to invite Bishop Dr. Pete Pinnock, who is going to present the speaker this evening. Following him, the, the revival choir, and then the voice after that will be the man of God. Put your hands together as we welcome come on stand to your feet and let us welcome this great man of god come on somebody make some noise bishop dr pete pina come on believers is there any more praise for the king right now can we raise a hallelujah can we raise it two more times one more time Praise God, and I'll leave the rest for the speaker. Amen. God is indeed wonderful. Look at your neighbors and neighbor. I'm so happy to be beside you tonight. So there's a miracle in the house. And I will share the miracle with you. Amen. So be seated for a minute, everybody. Be seated for a minute. God is indeed ultra. The King of all kings and the Lord of all lords, the one which was and is to come. Special greetings to our presiding bishop, Bishop Enos Brown, Pastor Ruth Constance, Pastor Randy. I think I'm meeting him for the first time. Run. Pastor Randy Boucher for doing such a wonderful job. Please clap your hands together for him, everybody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Those who are the ministers, leaders, pastors, bishops, and everybody. Hear what happened, ladies and gentlemen, before I present the speaker. I want to see you here tomorrow night. 
for all those who have a request the bible said make your request be known unto him please write your request and put it in a seal white envelope seal it we will not be reading your request only the holy spirit will read them but what we'll be doing is that we'll be praying over them we'll be laying hands on them and we'll be praying over your requests amen i want to believe god with you for a miracle there's someone here who needs the power of agreement and we're going to agree with you for a miracle so what you can't do for yourself then let us do it together amen so tomorrow night you come and late right here the pastors will prepare amen a table here that you can place your envelope on and when we are through we're gonna burn everything so no one will ever read your request because we don't necessarily want to see what is there we want to put it before the Lord and we're believing that there will be miracles, signs, and wonders. For those persons who are watching us by YouTube, amen, Zoom, all over, and you're unable to be here, then please send it in to us early. Send it in to us so that what can be printed will be printed so that we can have it here ready, amen. And if you have a friend or someone who's here, then send it to them by phone and they can put their phone on the table. I know this is a good place that they will get it back. You may know they know where is there. Amen. Because in Canada, we don't miss anything, you know. You know that. And I know St. Vincent is like this. Amen, Pastor. So God is indeed wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go right now. But we are still here. We have a young man who's coming to preach tonight. He is on fire. He is. He's no stranger to St. Vincent. He's my very own spiritual son. He traveled with me for many years. Amen. Now he is the pastor for our branch in Jamaica. Where I used to be, that's where he is right now, doing a wonderful work. And he has made a huge sacrifice to be here this weekend into week. A matter of fact, his wife is watching right now, and they are celebrating their anniversary this weekend. But St. Vincent, this is how we love you. We love you so much that we, the, the sacrifice is made to make sure that we are here. Because you know what happened? We sense in our spirit that God really want to do something in this place. Are you with me here? So we're not here to joke around. We are here for business. Amen. So I'm here to present to you this young man. He's no other person than Pastor O'Neill Mattox. And after the choir, then I want you to stand and make welcome as he come. Put your hands together for the choir right now, believers. God bless you. Good night, people of God. As we continue to declare revival in this city, God, according to Acts 2.17, we declare that you will pour out your spirit on all people. We declare our sons and daughters will prophesy. We declare our young men will see visions. We declare, God, that our old men will dream dreams as we sing this song tonight we declare your holy spirit will break our walls down heaven come down father may your spirit break out in every home in every school in every dark corner of this nation we declare lord god may your spirit break out may your spirit break out in this nation in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Come on, everybody. Just give the Lord a praise in the house tonight. Come on, let everything that have breath, just give the Lord Jesus a praise in the house. Come on, open your sanctified mouth and give the Lord a praise in the house, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on, give Jesus a praise in the house tonight. Come on, let everything that have breath, give the Lord Jesus a praise in the house tonight. Hallelujah. The psalmist declare, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Is there any more praise for the king tonight? Is there any more praise for the king? Believers, let me, before I do the greetings, let me just say this, believers, get ready to, to shout tonight, amen? Because God is about to do something. There is something that I understand, amen? You see, throughout the whole universe and the whole creation process, while God was creating this earth, when you look throughout the scriptures, you realize the Bible says that God called things into being. He said, let there be and there was. But when it comes to man, man was the only thing that took God's breath away. So much so that God breathed into him and he become a living soul. It means that the breath that God used to say, let there be, is the same breath that we are breathing. No wonder why, no wonder why the enemy tried to silence the people of God when they enter into his house. Because the, the devil know that a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Can I tell you something else? Closed mouth cannot be fed. If I put food before you and your mouth is closed, you will remain hungry. But if you open your mouth and begin to eat, if there's a praise for Jehovah tonight, and you're expecting God to fill you up tonight. If you came here hungry. If you came here hungry tonight. Then the Lord is ready to fill you up. Am I talking to the church tonight? Come on, open up your mouth and give the Lord Jesus a praise everybody. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord Jesus a praise. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. When the praises goes up, believers, we're expecting God to do something extraordinary. We are believing God tonight. While you're standing, believers, turn your Bibles with me to the book of Joshua chapter 1. And while you're searching, let me take the time out to greet the Holy Spirit who is ahead of my life. Secondly, to our Bishop, presiding Bishop, Bishop Enos Brown, Minister Desreen Brown, amen, and their entire family. To my Bishop, Dr. Pete Pinnock, Reverend Kerry and Pinnock and their family, I greet you. To Pastor Ruth and her family, Pastor Stuart Malcolm and family. To all the pastors, bishops, and evangelists, ministers, amen. Those watching on Facebook or YouTube, musicians, engineers, everybody, Amen. Or St. Vincent friends and family. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Special greetings to my wife. Amen. And my daughter who is watching right now. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. And I'm happy to be back in the island of St. Vincent. Amen. It's been a while since I haven't graced the shores. Amen. Of St. Vincent. Amen. Hallelujah. But God is indeed a good God. Amen. Put your hands together for the musicians, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last night when I heard Bishop speaking, um, I was saying to myself, my goodness. And he said that um, it's time to break the silence. Amen. And believers, on, on my way here, somehow the Lord, when Bishop called me, the, uh, and he said to me, you felt in your spirit that you were going to speak, right? I said, I felt something. Because while I was coming, the Lord just placed something in my spirit. And I was saying, but God, I'm not scheduled to speak. But God know what he was doing. Amen, somebody? Hallelujah. So I want to take you to the book of Joshua tonight. Hallelujah. Joshua chapter 6. Reading a few verses. Amen. It says, verse 1. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. 
And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hands Jericho, and the kings thereof, and the mighty men of valor. And he shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of rams, horn, and the seventh day he shall come past the city seven times, and the priest shall blow with the trumpet. And it came to pass, and it shall come to pass, rather, that when they make a long blast with the ram horn, and with all, and when, and when he hear the sound of the trumpet, sorry, and all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the walls of the city fall down flat. And the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. And the word of the Lord is already blessed. We honor it by saying, Amen. The rest is important, but due to time, believers, we will stop right here. Just rest your Bibles down. Amen. And let us just pray. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, we just want to thank you for tonight. We want to thank you for this opportunity to be in your presence. And so, Father God, I ask of thee tonight, let preaching become easy. Not only easy, but let it be effective. I pray that your words will go forth with power and with clarity. It will accomplish the task that is set before it. I pray tonight, dear God, that someone will leave this meeting being revived, being restored, and being delivered. I pray, Jehovah God, that your words will penetrate this atmosphere. I pray, Jehovah God, that it will bring reproof. We pray, Jehovah God, that it will bring forth change. Those that are watching via Facebook, via, via YouTube, and those that will watch, I pray, Jehovah God, that this word will be a blessing to their lives. I pray it will bring forth miracles, signs, and wonder. Lord, we thank you for what is it that you have done, what is it that you're doing. And what is it that you're about to do in the lives of your people? In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Somebody just shout a praise in the house tonight. Somebody just shout a praise in the house tonight. Hallelujah. Before you take your seat, believers, I want you to just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. And I want you to be aggressive. Say, neighbor, it's time to unlock it. Come on, tell your neighbor. Tell somebody else. Say, neighbor, it is time to unlock it. Come on, give the Lord Jesus a praise. If you're ready to unlock some stuff tonight, come on, give the Lord Jesus a praise and be seated, everybody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. God has given us the city. Amen. But I want us to understand something, believers. Even though God gave us a city, we first have to also get rid of the gatekeepers. You see, a, a lot of people think that because God tell you that you have the city, that you can just claim it without taking out the strong man. The Bible says that believers, in order for us to captivate or to take anything from the strong man, we first have to bind him. We cannot enter into a strong man house and take out what is ours without binding the strong man first. And as a result of that, believers, the strong man, believers, he have gatekeepers. The Lord have sent us into St. Vincent, no doubt. But we have, to, we have to address the gatekeepers that have been blocking the people. That have been holding on to the people. And it's time for us to stand in the authority that God has given us. And say that, listen, we are going to take this city by force. Do I have the church with me tonight? Come on, somebody. Do I have the church with me tonight? You have to understand, believers, that in every single person in this room and, and under the hearing of my voice... God has placed a code inside of us, a code of success. Because the Bible says that he wish above all things that we prosper and be in good health as our soul prospereth. 
And as a result of that, believers, amen, until we find that code and we unlock that code, we will never be the individual that God has called us to be. We will be going around doing things, but we will not be doing what God has called us to truly become. Understand this, believers. Anna is a great example of this because inside of Anna was locked up a code of success and his name was Samuel. Are you walking with me? Understand this, believers. Amen. Anna did not even realize that she had greatness on the inside of her. The Bible says that she was a barren and not that she did anything wrong, but God allowed it to happen. But Anna, after first, accessed a key. Amen. And we realize, believers, during those days, what was happening is that Eli's sons were creating havoc and they were doing some things that was not right. And what happened, believers, amen, Anna, believers, was perplexed by her adversary, Penina. But what happened, believers, that while she was there and she was being perplexed, the Bible says that they went to Shiloh. And when they got there, she decided that today is not a day for eating, but today is a day that I will pray because I need God to do something. I need something to be on locked am i talking to anybody so what happened believers anna released a prayer that heaven wanted to hear because what happened believers this woman was in the earth realm and she prayed a prayer and she said lord if you give me a man child and she was specific she said if you give me a man child i will give him back to you all the days of his life now god needed somebody to be the replacement to eli so when Anna prayed believers her gate was unlocked so whatever it is believers I'm here to encourage somebody tonight that whatever it is that is blocking you if you realize believers even in some communities even in some areas even in some workplace that people will be working hard but they can't get a raise they will be working hard but they can't get a promotion because the enemy has used an evil gatekeeper to block you Am I talking to anybody tonight? Amen. Because the enemy has used this gatekeeper that will say that you will never be successful. You will never come out to anything good. But tonight, somebody say tonight. Come on, tell your neighbor. Say neighbor tonight, tonight, tonight. I said every gatekeeper that has been blocking my destiny. I said tonight we come to unlock. We come to unlock. We come to unlock. Somebody better give the Lord a praise in this house tonight hallelujah amen so believers watch this i want you to understand something that they see that you see lock believers it shows there are several things that we understand things that are locked up when things that are locked up it means that you only lock things that are and we are unable to take it so now the giants become a lock to the majority of the people but believers you have to understand here believers but the place was where God wants them to be amen believers now believers we understand that there are different types of locks amen and so believers we have what we call the conventional lock and the conventional lock is the more traditional lock some of us we call it the martis lock in Jamaica the lock that you just turn like this you put the key and you turn but understand this believers you use that lock as a security system but what happened is believers if you get a hammer and you hit that lock hard enough, then you realize that that lock uh, is of no more use. Amen. So when they realized this, believers, they came up with different locks. They came up with locks that you use codes. Amen. So you would punch numbers. Amen. So you will use numbers or you will use letters to unlock certain things. These type of lock, believers, are a little bit more secure. Amen. So what happened is, believers, one will feel safe using these locks then believers we realize that now we are in the 23rd century and so what happened is believers we now have uh, electronic locks amen electronics locks are those that you use your swipe card or you use your thumbprint or you use uh, your eyes amen to enter if you go to most hotels what you will realize believers that they will give you a key card because what happened instead of you punching numbers that you will forget they give you a key card that is something that is more easier to operate with a key card you don't have to remember anything you just swipe your key and you're in am i speaking truth 
Anybody? Because what happened here, believers, we realized something that the enemy believers have been locking majority of the people of God out of their inheritance. Amen. And the enemy believers use this. Amen. Hallelujah. So that the people will become frustrated. So that the people will reach a point in their life that they want to give up. That they just want to throw in the towel. That they just say, you know what? I'm just going to forget about this church thing. But somebody say tonight, hallelujah. I said tonight we come to break that believers. Tonight I said we come and we're going to take it by force am i talking to the church amen somebody you understand here believers amen that the bible speaks amen in, 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 in Joshua chapter 6. Amen. We realize believers that a gate believers, it carries your inheritance. Amen. A gate carries your inheritance because what happened is the children of Israel, their inheritance was locked up in the city of Jericho. Now watch this believers. The children of Israel needed to get to the promised place but Jericho was in their way. Amen. There are many of us believers that God has released word concerning our life believers and it doesn't matter how hard we try it seem as if the words are not coming to pass and what happened believers because it's not that God don't want to give us but what happened is believers there is a blockage there is something that is blocking you because the enemy will not allow you to just walk into your blessing the enemy will not just allow you to walk and be delivered no because that's why believers the enemy put a stronghold on the people believers Believers, while I was while I was in Jamaica, before I got here, believers, I was praying against the gates of St. Vincent. Why? Because I realized that there is an evil gate that is blocking the people. That even though they want to serve God, even though they want to do right, even though they want to be delivered, the enemy says that I will not allow you to come out of this situation. But tonight, believers, we came with the army and we said tonight everything that has been blocking the people of this region i don't care your level of authority that you have in this region if you are blocking the people of god it means that your time is up i said we come to take out every evil gatekeepers tonight in this region am i talking to the church look at your neighbor as a neighbor i said we come to take it by force somebody give the lord a praise up in this building hallelujah understand this believers so amen the promised place believers is that what all their inheritance amen and in order for them to gain access believers to the promised place they had to first go through Jericho now watch this believers even though Jericho was a place the Bible says Jericho was shut up amen hallelujah understand that Jericho Amen. The army was a mighty army. But they shut up Jericho tightly. Amen. Not just to prevent themselves, but they, were sh they shut up Jericho to keep the rightful owner out of their place. Are you following me? Because you have to understand, believers, what the enemy is doing. Even though the enemy knows that it is your stuff, the enemy says that, listen, you will not get it without a fight. That's one of the reasons why I feel sorry for some Christian who keep on sitting down and and saying I'm waiting down here at the river when you come Lord Jesus you better get up and bust some move in order for you to get what God have in store for you believers we have some lazy attitude as Christian but I believe it I claim it and I receive it in Jesus name stay there wait on it look what the devil will do to you if you continue to believe that doctrine believers you will die in poverty but I refuse to be the tail when God has called me to be the head i refuse to borrow when god said i should lend look at your neighbor say neighbor we're going in tonight somebody give the lord a prize up in this building oh. jericho jericho believers was shut up to keep the children of israel out the enemy was saying, we know that this place was promised to you. We know that it is yours. But we will not let you in. Hallelujah. And the devil is adamant that, listen, you will not go in. Hallelujah. But today, believers, while I was even going through the text, and 
I remember when Bishop said last night, it's time to break the silence. I said, but look at this Jesus. Look at the tactics that you use. While the children, when you told them to march around the city in silence. Am I talking to anybody tonight? Believe as you listen. The key to any deliverance is instruction. You see, many people we pray, but we don't listen. Believe us, we pray. And we will pray from now till tomorrow. And if I asked you what God told you, you don't know because you're not listening to hear God speak. Hallelujah. When God is giving you instruction, you feel as if, listen, this is not God. Because believe us, we have in our mind that God is supposed to work a certain way. And if God is not moving like that, then it is not God. And so we rebuke stuff when God is saying that you need to just follow follow my lead and if you follow my lead then the city will be yours somebody give Jesus glory and so believers watch this so their inheritance was in the place and, 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 and understand this believers God knew that the only way that the people of God will get their inheritance they would have to enter into battle Believers, you see, some of us, we, we, we just think that everything will fall in our lap. Believers, I'm not saying that God will not just bless us sometime just like that. But believers, listen, sometime we have to fight. Believers, the man that don't learn to fight will suffer. Hear me? The man that don't learn to fight in the spiritual warfare, you will suffer. Believers, listen, when you're going to school, if you're not able to fight for those who have gone through school back in the days, listen, you will have bullies. They will just beat your left, right, and center because you can't fight. So you suffer throughout school. But as soon as you learn to fight, believers, when the enemy come at you and you stand up for yourself and say, devil, we're going round for round today. I said, we're going in battle because I used to run from you but now I have learned how to fight I will stand because the Lord said if I hold my peace then you will fight my battle the Lord says no weapon that is formed against me will be able to prosper fight neighbor fight and, and so and so what happened believers the Bible says, amen, the Bible says, listen, listen, the Bible says that, 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 that the Lord said to Joshua, arise, it's now time to take the city. He said, I have given you the city. He says, listen, I have given you Jericho. The Lord says, church, I have given you St. Vincent. He said that I have given you St. Vincent. The Lord says, I know that there are witches and warlocks, hallelujah, that are around the, 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 the area. But he says, nevertheless, I have given you the city. Ah, he said, I have noticed something. Believers, this is not this is not random. Notice where we are. Believers, I was just looking and I don't know St. Vincent much, but I believe, believers, that we are in the town, we are in the center, because one way is leeward and the other way is windward. Amen. Somebody. So when I look today and I said, God, look at it. You place us at a strategic place that those that are on the windward side, they would all, all of us will gather in the center. Why? Because you want us to turn the city upside down am i talking to anybody he said that listen i'm about to do something in this region and it's going to start in the center it is he says that listen everything that is in the city is already yours jesus have mercy watch this believers because watch this the lord says to joshua i have given you the city so therefore, when God says, I have given you the city, it means that he, al he, al he already done it, even though you don't get it yet. God is in the future and he's speaking about the past, something that he already did without Joshua even knowing. He says, I has already given you the city and the mighty man. And he says, no, Joshua, I want you to do this for me because in order for you to take the city, we're not going to fight as always. He said, no, I'm going to give you a new plan. I'm going to give you a new tactics. Believers, nothing in the military field seem as if this 
was correct because nowhere that soldiers will be going out to fight and just walking around a place making no noise but what happened believers you have to understand that God is strategic because while they were walking around the city because learn this first because the first thing is the walls was too thick for them to lick it down it doesn't matter what sledgehammer they had to hit that wall it was too thick for them to hit it down but it wasn't too thick for it to sink because you have to understand something here believers so while they were there and the Lord said listen Joshua now I want you to gather the people can you imagine believers Joshua as the leader going to the people and said St. Vincent we're going to take the city but listen what God says he said we must walk around the city without making a sound hallelujah one time every day and they walk around the first day no sound own. Believers, it's a possibility that some of us will begin to murmur. Hallelujah. Because they would say that this is ridiculous. This is stupidity. This cannot work. Because believers, you see, one of the things that you have to understand as children of God, we don't see with our eyes. We see with our ears. Because the Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when God spoke the word and said, march around the city, I can be picture by faith. Some might not even want to do it, but because Joshua said it, believers they were going around without making any noise, while the enemy stand and they look and they were asking, what stupidity is this? But little did the enemy know that what they were doing, they were trampling because God said, wherever the sole of your feet trod, it is yours. So while they were circling the city, hallelujah, believers they were going around and everywhere they go the Lord says this is yours so while they are walking the enemy is looking and God uses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise and while the enemy laugh at you believers the devil will laugh at you when God tell you to do some stuff people will ridicule you when God tell you to do some stuff but because God have a plan and because God's plan is always perfect somebody give God a praise because believers the problem is many of us believers you see the thing is bishop many of us we are unable to unlock stuff because the thing is with the church we don't have a problem with God's power we have a problem with God's plan am I talking to anybody because you have to understand the plans of God are not always what we like am I talking to anybody you see we know that God can remove mountain we know that God can open the eyes of the blind but when God said to do something ridiculous believers is plan seem as if it's not going to work and within yourself you're saying God how can I use dirt hallelujah to put on a man eye that is blind and his eyes will be open believers God is the only person I know that will use something that will cause you to go blind to allow you to see am I talking to anybody here somebody give God a praise up in this building because everybody know bishop that dirt is an irritant to your eyes hallelujah and if you put dirt in your eyes it probably cause you to go blind but because the God that we serve he said when I'm getting ready to unlock some stuff I will do the unexpected I will do the unthinkable am I talking to anybody he said that I will do exceedingly abundantly above you can even imagine so don't watch it I want you to try Trust me because when you trust me you are able to take the city is there anybody in this house tonight who is saying pastor I said we're ready I said we come here charge tonight to take back St. Vincent for Christ am I talking to the church I said every evil gatekeeper that has been holding the people hostage I said we send the fire of God to you in the name of Jesus Christ am I talking is there anybody with me tonight are the radical soldiers we are the warriors tonight open up your mouth and begin to give God a praise up in this building he says go around the city go around the city 
Don't watch what the enemy is saying. They're laughing at you. But go around. They're laughing at you. But go around. Hallelujah. They're saying that you're crazy. But go around. Because at the end, my word will speak. Because I'm not a man that I should lie. So whatever I say, that's what I will do. So while they're laughing, God is working. Oh my goodness. I said some people are laughing at you. But God is working on your behalf. Because what the enemy don't know. That the God that we serve done his best work in the dark. Because the Bible says that in the creation he said let there be. Because there was darkness on the face of the deep. But when he went through there came light. He unlocked the darkness and bring forth light. I come to tell somebody tonight that God is about to give you light in your dark situation. I say God is about to give you light in that workplace. He's about to give you light. Am I talking to the church? Bishop, there are folks, Christians, believers who are living right. And you're working hard. Can't get a raise. Can't get a promotion. You work so hard. And every time you're supposed to be promoted. The Bible says we wrestle against, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high place. Believers, you have some people who are ahead of you in your workplace. That every time the Lord wants to elevate you. Oh my goodness, look how I'm going to mess up this now. Because even in church, you have some people who are assigned agents that are trying to block you from reaching where God wants you to reach. But I said every evil gatekeeper tonight that the enemy is using, whether you're in church or outside of church, I said I send the fire of God to you tonight. I said you will not prevail. I said no weapon. Working hard. Can't see an increase. Working from nine to five over time. And you still can't see an increase. Why? Because the enemy has blocked the gates to your success. And the enemy said, listen, I cannot allow you to be promoted. Because if you are promoted, then you're going to be trouble for me. And so the enemy is fighting. And a lot of us believers will look at it and think it's normal. Because we listen to some people at the workplace say, a long time you work here. And me not get no raise. So how you expect to get raise? The devil is a liar. I am a child of a king. Am I talking to anybody here? So the wealth and riches is mine. I understand this. Believers, you won't need money in heaven. Hear me? You won't need money in heaven. Your assets won't mean nothing in heaven. So that's the reason why you have to unlock some stuff from here. You have to tell yourself that, listen, I'm taking what is mine. For too long, the enemy locked up your stuff. Lock it up. And said, listen, you will never come out to anything good. Lock it up. Lock it up. And you're there. And you say, God says, I will be, I will own a house. And I'm just waiting on the Lord to give me that house. The Lord said I will have a car. And I'm waiting on the Lord to give me the car. Because in the book of Leviticus, it says God is not a man. Numbers rather, that he shall not lie. And so God, what he said before, one of his word pass, heaven and earth pass. Lazy. <laughs> lazy and so we have that lazy mentality to think that things will just fall into place and, 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 and the thing is Bishop you see what happened is believers understand that God has given us so much power 
Let's, he, said, he said in the book of John, he said, but as many as receive me, to them I gave power to become what? The sons of... Understand this, believers. It means that, believers, when, God, when, when you get saved, we have been equipped with so much power that the enemy is not able to stand before us. That's why he said that he has given us power over serpents and upon scorpions. But the thing is, many believers don't want to fight and claim what is theirs because they are afraid of attacks. Some people will tell you, Pastor, as long as me save and sanctify me, all right. Don't want to fight. Don't want to fight. Don't want to engage in battle. Because if you engage in battle while you're at church, when you go home and the enemy coming at your house, are you alone today? Believers, we laugh, but it's the truth. That's why many people don't grow in church. Because what happened is, they're saying that, listen, when we hear some people testimony, me no I encounter that. But what happened, the Bible says, believers, if we understand what the word says, the word says that he has not given us a spirit of fear but of love and of power and of a soul mind so it means believers understand this believers sometimes i wonder if we read the bible in reverse the bible says that no weapon that is formed let me let me wrap this up so watch this believers so now when they walked around the city for six days they did it once they did it once and the lord says that listen today I want you to do something different. Because today you're not going around it once. But you're going around it seven times. Seven times. Now seven is the number of completion. But in truth believers. When we look at how many times they went around the wall. It's actually 13 times. Now 13 believers. Is a, is, it, it, it's a number of disorder. Basically, right? So watch what happened here. Believers, now, God allowed them to walk around the city 13 times in, the, in disorder to bring them into their place of order. Because what happened, believers, this is where I have created, this is where I have destined for you. This is where your wealth is. This is where your prosperity is. This is where your favor is. So what happened is, I'm going to bring you into this place. But in order for you to get into this place, there is something that you have to do. After you go around, you have to open your mouth. Okay. I, I told you before that a closed mouth is a closed destiny, right? So watch this. He said that now that you have come past the city, he said the next thing that you need to do is to get those on the instruments, hallelujah, to blow. And when they blow and the people hear the instruments, that the people should open their mouth and begin to release a praise in the atmosphere. Because when you open your mouth, you are about to see the miraculous. Oh, some of you are still not ready. I said, when you open your mouth, you will see the miraculous. Oh, the devil, the devil is in trouble tonight. Believers, understand this. What's it? You, you, you see. Time passed, gone. I would, I always used to say this, Bishop, that the devil made a mistake in making me come to church tonight until the Lord showed me something differently. And from that, I, I, I never say that again. You know why? Because the devil did not make a mistake. The devil could not stop me from being here tonight. But believe us, you see, the devil has no say in me being here tonight. In other words, the devil have no say in you being here tonight. Because God designed that you would be here. And it doesn't matter what the devil did. You are still here. So he did not make a mistake. He just could not stop it. And if the devil could not stop it, it means that God has something in store for me tonight. Is there anybody with a praise for Jehovah? 
Somebody open up your mouth and let the devil know that I'm claiming my inheritance. I'm going to unlock this tonight with a praise. Somebody give God glory. I said every evil gatekeeper that has been blocking your gate of success tonight they will die believers come on I said we're gonna kill them with a praise I said every evil gatekeeper that has been blocking your ministry I said that evil gatekeeper uh, I said every evil gatekeeper that has been blocking the nation I said we come for you tonight believe uh, 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 do I have some warriors in the house tonight I said every evil gatekeeper that has been blocking your womb God prophesied and told you that you will have a child and it doesn't matter what is happening that evil gatekeeper and no child is coming I say I send the fire of God to every evil gatekeeper tonight I said you will give birth I say we come for unlock it is there anybody in this house tonight come on people of God is there anybody that is saying man of God I come in with you tonight I said every evil gatekeeper that has been blocking you from getting married I say we send in fire Somebody shot fire! Somebody shot fire! Somebody shot fire! I say I'm going down tonight. I've got a praise in my belly. I've got a praise in my belly. Is there anybody to praise tonight? Open up your mouth and give the Lord Jesus a praise. Somebody shout! destiny I say I'm unlocking my destiny for too long I've been living like slave when God called me to live like a prince I say I'm unlocking my destiny I will not go around in circles hallelujah with unbelievers but I'm unlocking it tonight somebody open your mouth and say I'm unlocking it One of the problem, one of the problem with the church is that, Bishop, we pray loose prayer. We just pray loosely. Believers, what happened is, in order for us to change our life and to change the path of our destiny and to have what God said that we are to have, what we need to do, believers, is have that spirit of discernment to see what gate is working against us. Because you can only bind the strong man of the gate that is working against you. And when you bind that strong man, you are able to unlock and you are able to go in. So believers, listen, if a poverty, the enemy are used to block you, then you need to target that gate. If it's barrenness, you need to target that gate. If it's health wise, target that gate. Because believers, we come to unlock some stuff tonight. Believers, I want you to, listen, I don't know your gate. Hallelujah. But I want every individual tonight that I know that the enemy has some form of gate that is blocking you from entering. Some of you will want travel. And it no matter where you try. Hallelujah. You can't get a visa because the evil gatekeeper has blocked your gate. I said tonight, tonight, tonight. I say I'll send fire. Somebody say fire. Somebody say fire. Somebody say fire. Somebody say fire, 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 fire. Somebody say fire. Somebody say fire. I send in fire to your gate tonight. Somebody give the Lord Jesus a prayer. So now. With your hands lifted, everybody. And your eyes closed. I want you to now start to picture 
the things that is working against you. What is happening in your life? Some of us, is family curse. Everybody in the family, as soon as they reach a certain age, they die. As soon as some people get married in the family, they get divorced. Because there is a gate that is working against your family. But tonight, I said whatever gate that the enemy is using to block me tonight, whether it be gate of finance, I said I'm shooting you down. Because believers, and listen, let me say this. L listen, if it's one thing I know about church, that one of the biggest struggles that we face in church also as people of God is finance because the enemy wants us to be poor but tonight I'm going to unlock those gates we're going to unlock those gates a cattle upon a thousand hill belong to God so what happened believers I said we're going to unlock those gates tonight if it's sickness I said we're going to unlock it if it's poverty we're going to unlock it. If it's spiritual blindness, I said we're going to unlock it. Hallelujah. I said I must grow. Come on. I must climb. I must have success. I must achieve what God has for me. I must get it. I will not die and don't get what God has for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I say I'm going for my gate. I say I'm going for the gate of inheritance. I said, what God has for me, I will get it. Come on, somebody here. Let the devil know that you come to take it by force tonight. Come on. Hallelujah. So we come to take the city gate. Hallelujah. I said, we come to take the city gate. Hallelujah. The city gate that has been guarded by gatekeepers. I said, we come to take the gate of the city tonight. Hallelujah. I said, we come with the blood of Jesus. I said, we come with the power of Jesus Christ. And we say, we're taking authority and dominion over every spiritual gate in this region. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, I'm on. I'm almost done. But let me just run these three declarations and then we can go. Just lift your hands up. Get ready. Hallelujah. As your hands are lifted, I said, We come for the gates tonight. Hallelujah. I said, We come for the gates tonight. Come on, say, Neighbor, we come for the gates tonight. I said we come for the gates tonight Hallelujah Come on, I said we come for the gate tonight Hallelujah Somebody say, Father In the name of your son Jesus Every gate That has been working against my family Catch fire Catch fire Catch fire Catch fire in the name of Jesus. I said every gate that is working against my finance. Catch fire now. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said every gate that is working against my womb. I said catch fire. Catch fire, every kid working against your marriage. Catch fire, catch fire, every kid working against the ministry. Catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody, send the fire of God. Say, Father, every gatekeeper that the enemy has been using 
to monitor my life to monitor my ministry through the way of Facebook Instagram TikTok so every social media platform let them be blinded by fire in the name of Jesus they will not monitor me anymore they will not watch me anymore I send the blood of Jesus to your camp tonight I say I send the blood Woo! I said we unlock it. I said we unlock it. I said we unlock it. I unlock it. I say I'm stepping in. Hallelujah. Because if you know you unlock some stuff, believers, you can't stay in the same place. You have to step in now. Because now that the doors have been unlocked, it's time for you to step in and claim your inheritance. Let the devil know that joy is yours. That messed up marriage. That marriage that was on the rock. Hallelujah. I say you're flying again tonight. As of today, I said the Lord will give you joy in your marriage. He will give you peace in your marriage. Because that evil gatekeeper has just been destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ somebody open your mouth and give the Lord Jesus a praise let the devil know that joy is mine peace is mine somebody give the Lord a praise up in this building open up your mouth 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 and give the Lord Jesus a praise So this city is mine because God has given us access. He said, I've given you access to take the region. I've given you access to have dominion and power over the region. I've given you access to free the people. I've given you access for miracle signs and wonders to take place in the lives of the people. Come on somebody, if you're not too tired, just open up your mouth one more time and give the Lord a shout of praise. Ah, give the Lord a shout of praise. Come on somebody, open up your mouth and give the Lord Jesus a shout of praise. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give the Lord Jesus a praise everybody. Come on, open up your mouth. Give the Lord Jesus, 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 Jesus. Give the Lord Jesus. Yeah! Come on, give him a praise! Come on, believers, one more round. Come on, just hold somebody's hands right now. Hold someone's hands. Hold someone. Just one person. Just hold one person. Hold one person right now. Turn to that person right now. We're wrapping this up right now. But believers, we're going to finish this. We're going to finish. Touch your neighbor as a neighbor. We're going to finish this now. Is there anybody has an aggressive spirit right now? Just do, just check, just check your neighbor right now. Say, neighbor, are you ready? Are you ready? Say, are you ready to help me? Are you ready to help me? Are you ready to help me? Come on, I'm not joking right now. I'm not joking. This word is strong. This word is powerful. Ask your neighbor right now. Say, neighbor, are you willing to help me? Are you willing to help me? The Bible said Paul had Silas. Uh, can I talk to somebody right now? Paul had Silas and they sung and the Bible says the prison doors open do me a favor one more time just ask your neighbor because listen if your neighbor doesn't respond favorable then I'm gonna ask you to switch listen when it comes to your destiny don't play around come on don't play with your destiny no disrespect but when it comes to my destiny when it comes to an open heaven when it comes to the right time we can't play around ask your neighbor neighbor are you ready are you ready to help me? 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 Come on, are you ready to help me? Somebody's ready. Somebody's ready. 
Come on, a neighbor is ready. A neighbor is ready. A neighbor is ready. Come on, come on, come on. Hold both hands. 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 Come on, katata katara bakasanda. Come on, pray. Kata kata. Ripe koshana. Pull, pull, pull. While you're praying, pull, pull, pull. Come on, we're taking on the gifts. Come on, ushers. Come on, ushers. Come on, ushers. Work riba kata kata. Break my fire. Kataka. Break my fire over there. Break my fire. Help my brother over there. Help my brother. Help my brother. Come on, easy, my brother can help over here. Break my fire. Pray my fire. We command every evil gift, every evil gift holding your family. Break my fire. We command every evil gift. Break my fire. Every witchcraft gift. Break my fire. Every evil gift. Break my fire. Every food gift. Break my fire. Every generational gift. Break my fire. Every bloodline gift. Break my fire. Come on, Rebecca Takata. Shake Baranda. The kingdom of God suffering violence. But the violent, we come to take it. Come and pull that hand. Rocco Koshana. Help pull that destiny. Pull that destiny. Pull that destiny. Pull that destiny. Come on, help her to put her down. Help her to put her down. Katana Masha. Yikoto Kotonova. Come on, Osha, don't strain yourself. Put them down. Rebakata. Shana Dakata. Reketala. Fire. 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 Fire and every evil gift. 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 Come on, Rakata. Shadanaman. Come on, hold that neighbor hands and work it right now. Your hour has come. Your time has come. It has come for a breakthrough. Your womb must be opened. Your finance must be must receive a breakthrough. You must receive happiness. The enemy has been robbing you of happiness too long. The Lord said, I'm ready to give you joy. I'm ready to give you peace. Come on, depression must go tonight, 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 tonight. Every dark cell. The enemy had you in. You are breaking out tonight. Break out, break out, break out, break out. Come on, help your neighbor, help your neighbor, help your neighbor. Fire, fire on there, fire on there, fire on there, fire on there. Every gate, every gate, every gate, every gate. Fall, every gate. Robot cut on cut on. Shut it up. Come on, believers, don't stop. Help your neighbor, help your neighbor. Paul said, let us pray one for another. Come on, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull that neighbor out. Pull that neighbor out. Pull that neighbor out. Pull that neighbor out. Pull that neighbor Praise Come on, hallelujah. Get a next neighbor. Get a next neighbor. Maybe that neighbor is tired. Find another neighbor. Find another neighbor. Come on. This is your destiny. Come on. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You know that God has more for you. You know that more, more, more is calling you. You can't look pretty tonight. You can't look pretty tonight. Leave that aside. This is your destiny we're talking about. This is your breakthrough we're talking about. This is a marriage we're talking about. This is a child we're talking about. Fight! Pray! Pray! Question, but hear me. 
I confirm this word. I had no talk with Pastor Maddox to ask him what he was going to preach tonight. But at the time of 3 p.m. this evening, the Lord says, go into prayer. And I had my wife who's watching right now. She was online with me and I said, hon, the Lord said I must go into prayer now. And I started praying from 3 to 4.30. And while I was praying, the Lord said, pray about the gates. Believers, I named the gates and I, we prayed over them individually. When I sat there and heard the man of God spoke about the gates, I know that it is God's divine and perfect will that every gate that is holding you and holding St. Vincent must be open. Must be open. So when I say to you should be aggressive, you must be aggressive. Let me show you something, ladies and gentlemen, about a service like this. You see, an anointed service is what destroys the yokes. It's not talk destroy yokes. It's not talk destroy chains. The Bible says, and the anointing shall destroy the yokes. Whenever you're in a service and you feel the anointing, that is where you say, God, just destroy the yoke now. Just destroy the chain right now. Just break the chain right now. You will never be able to break it unless the anointing arrives. The Bible says the anointing came upon Samson and he did things. The anointing came upon David and he did things. Without this, nothing will be done. I was in an anointed service. And the man of God says, everybody who has a key, just get a key in your hand. He says, whether it's yours or not, borrow a key. And brothers and sisters, we search, we run over to get keys. And I think my, one of my, my brothers are watching right now. And we share up some keys we had. And every one of us took a key. And believers, I took one for myself. I said, Lord, I'm claiming a house. Somebody real thing I'm telling you. I said, Lord, I am claiming a house. Pastor Horatia Simmons, Bishop. That's the preacher. I remember it like yesterday. Because you must never forget an anointed moment. Because something happens that the natural eyes cannot see. Then look what happened now. Believers, when it opens up in the realms first, it takes a time before you see it in the natural. But it was done in the spiritual realm. You know what? Um, a little while from that, I went to work one day. And a crazy thing just came over me. And it is that it's time to buy a house. Believers, we had no money. I'm just showing you when, when the realms is open like this. I hope you stay in the real spirit. We had, I had not even $10,000. But I heard the Lord said to me, he said, start turning the yellow pages and look for real estate and call up a real estate agent and get ready, you're going to buy a house. Believers, I'm telling you, when the anointing flows in advance, it takes a time for you to come into it. As the man of God says, listen to me, you, you can't be lazy. You can't sit down and just wait, wait. You got to make a move. The just shall live by faith. Faith without works is dead. Are you with me? And I said, I'm going to buy a house. I called my wife. I said, guess what happened, hon? We're going to buy a house. We don't have $10,000, but we're going to buy a house. And believers, so I said it. Pastor Mattox was right there with me. I called him one day. I said, Pastor, I need $470,000. This was in 2006. I said, I need $475,000. And I don't have the first 10000 But we went in. I called him and another brother. And I said, come with me. Let us go to prayer. Let us go to the place of prayer. And believe us, we prayed at Hope Gardens. Anyone from Jamaica who's watching me right now. We went to Hope Garden, Pastor Mattox, myself, and a brother, and we started praying. And I said, God, you said through your servant that you'll give me a home. No, I'm believing you for it. Believe us, we prayed there. Following, a couple of days later, I got $100,000. First thing, 
you know when you get something but it's not enough you don't want to be ungrateful so I said thank you Lord then I called back Pastor Matt I said we're going back to Hope Gardens again because we're going back to the place of prayer what am I trying to say I'm teaching you something now you know that when something is done in the realms like tonight if you believe it then you should pursue it when you leave here you leave with faith that I got it because the man of God said we should pull out our keys and I pull out my key and I believe that I got it believers as I was about to leave and anyone who has heard this before you know this is true any testimony you have I can share it the same way every time it's real watch this now I said I was about to leave out on Ash Wednesday in Jamaica which is a big fasting day and as I pack up my things to leave the Holy Spirit said no you are staying home today you are doing fasting from home and believers I was there fasting and praying and as I prayed for a while I heard the voice said turn on the radio not when I'm doing my fast there's I am very selective of the music I want to hear because believers I must control the atmosphere of that which come into my spirit so even if it's gospel if it's not in tune with my spirit I'm not gonna listen to it but I heard the Lord said turn on the radio this was a little strange to me but nevertheless as I turn on the radio I heard a preacher who was preaching from prior mountain in Jamaica anyone know that over Bayside I'm telling you some things that you don't know but we have an international audience here so some of them will understand what I'm saying here and as I turn on the radio I heard the man of God as he was preaching he said the individual who's purchasing a home and you don't have all of the deposit the Lord said to you that it is approved it is approved and it is final believers that was Ash Wednesday by the Sunday morning I got a call from overseas I heard that you are purchasing a house how much more money do you need I'm not joking believers this is God right now how much more money did, do you need? Believe us, we got the next check of $375,000. That is the hand of God. Are you with me here? There are some things, believers, you have to learn how to take it by force. I say to everyone who is hearing me today, whether you're in this room or you're on there, if God promise you anything, don't ever think that you will close your eyes without getting it aggressive that's when I told you to hold someone's hand and I say pray it don't mean joke around and talk it means that you should pray with everything in you you should pray and believe it that it is mine I will get it ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna give you one more opportunity and I'm gonna say to you don't even hold the same hand you hold before I want you to walk over to someone because we're going to spend two more minutes and we're going to pray aggressively that the heavens be open, the doors be open for the individual you're praying for. You see, that which you do for them is about to take place and be and happen and be done in your life. Somebody walk with me here right now. Pastor Ruth, I want you to join with Pastor Lane. Come out here, Pastor Lane. Ooh, Shada Labanda. There's something you might, we must learn in the kingdom. You see, Abraham sowed in the life of Melchizedek. That which was upon Melchizedek came upon Abraham, his son and his son's son. When you want God to do something for you, you find someone in the kingdom where the blessing is, where that favor is. Before my wife gave birth, the Lord told her, take a seed and find a pregnant lady and so into her life she had 100 us dollars and she found that lady and she sowed in her life believers when our first child came we didn't have to purchase anything for her she was totally covered totally put even until today favor and blessings keep coming brothers and sisters hear me there's something god is about to do because the heavens is open have you found your partner is there a partner have you found your partner have you found your partner? Have you found your partner?
people are sowing not because they ask but people are sowing because the spirit leads if the spirit leads you then do so find that neighbor find that neighbor find that neighbor find that neighbor quickly find that neighbor 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 come on pray if you're on zoom if you're on youtube if you're on facebook right now connect with someone if you don't have anybody to connect with then hold your phone in your hand and start to pray right now pray 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 say god earnestly open up the destiny open up 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 open the doors 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 the uncommon doors the unbelievable doors come on the doors that the enemy said could never be opened those are the doors come on they must be open every jericho wall blocking you from going in come on come on come on come on pray the kingdom of god suffering violence but the violent take it by force somebody take it by force 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 somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray he says my house must be called a house of prayer 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 prayer
They don't play to pray. Come on, Rakata Kapasiki Parabakasamda, Shadanabanda Katama. Pray concerning the city. Pray Katalama Katadi Yerda Shadanabanda, Makasata Katadi Yerda. Pray for boldness. Ibaba Bazanda, Ibaba Katakatanaba, Shadanaba Kasanaba, Ibaba Baba 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 Baba
turn, turn, turn. Ropo koto kopaya kata kata kata. Turn, riba kata 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 ya. Turn, riba kete kipaya kata ya. Turn, riba kese kipaya kata ya. Turn, riba kisa kata ya da. Turn, ropo kosho de biya da. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Someone say, is it so easy? Yes, it's easy. Raba kasha da. Turn, 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 turn. Levo kosha da da da. Your days have been done are over. The Lord has turned around things. He has turned around. 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 If you're watching by YouTube now, just take that key, spiritual key now, and just start turning. Start turning. Start turning. Start turning. Start turning. Come on, put the praise on it now. If you believe, put the praise now. Put the praise now. Put the praise now. Come on, come on, come on. Take it with a praise. Take it with a praise. Take it with a praise. Take it with a praise now. Come in agreement with you in the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. We command it to be released in the name of Jesus. 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 Man of God. Sir, pastor, pastor, right? Pastor, pastor, I see you on your knees. And I see you crying out to the Lord. I see you crying out to the Lord. And you are saying, help, Lord. I see, I hear you crying out. And you are saying, help, Lord. I need help. I need help and I need more. Robo The Lord says I should tell you, help has arrived. The Lord said, Tell Pastor, I have heard his cry. I have seen his tears. No discouragement will take you over. You will not be buried with your faith. Your faith will emerge. Man of God, I decree upon you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strength. Power. Fire. Strength. Power. Fire. Revival. God has heard your cry, Pastor. God said, Tell my son, I've heard his cry. And you are not alone. You are not alone. And the Lord says, Tell you, you will not be embarrassed. You will not be ashamed. None that call upon me. Will ever be a shame, Rabaka Sakata Kapa Rebeko Sabdanabanda, Leboko Tolobuko Sadanabanda. I decree victory over your life, power over your life, healing over your life, strength upon your ministry, prophetic strength, prophetic grace, revival in the house. I call food souls, I call food souls, I call food souls, I call food souls, I call food souls. We send revival in your ministry. We send new move in your ministry. We send fresh wind in your ministry by the power of the living God. Be strong in the Lord, man of God. 
and in the power of his might. The Lord said it's not over. The Lord says keep on pushing because it's a new season for you. It's a new season. Help is coming. I see financial help. I see physical help. And I see the Lord strengthening you even more. Watch the hand of the living God. The Lord God is with you. Where are your members? Are your members here? They're not here. They should be here tonight with you. May the Lord bless them wherever they are. Bring them tomorrow. Call them up. Call them up. Man of God, when you come tomorrow, bring a new bottle of oil. All right, sir. Grace and peace be yours, sir. God bless you, sir. It is well. It is well. It is well. It is well. Believers, we're going to release you right now because we have to go. It's a time limit at this place. But we want to see you back here tomorrow bright and early. We want you to come with your requests. God has done a great work tonight. Stretch your hands to the pastor, Mattox. Say, Father, bless him. Cover your son. May your grace be upon him. May you cover his family. May you increase him. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Before we go, is there at least one in this place who is not yet saved? And you would want to change your life as of tonight. Is there one? Wave your hand and lips in this building if you are not yet saved. It's a serious thing to leave this building without Jesus. Is there one? Just wave your hand if you're here and you're not yet saved. You're not yet saved. Anywhere in this building you are. Anywhere in this building you are. Just wave your hand like how I'm waving mine if you're not yet saved. Not yet saved. Not yet saved. Not yet saved. Is there one? Is there anybody? Is there anyone on YouTube, on Zoom, on Facebook? Is there anyone not yet saved? Well, family, hear what happened. So when you come in tomorrow night, don't leave your unsaved friends and family members. Bring them with you. Do the very best you can. Because with two more nights to go, and the Lord will do wonders. The Lord will do greater things. The sick will be healed. The demon possessed will be delivered. And restoration will be the order of God's people. In Jesus' name. Pastor, Pastor, praise God. Put your hands together for Pastor. Welcome everybody as he comes. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord sustain you. May the Lord cause your, ba may cause your basket to run over. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me hear hallelujah from all the revivalists in the house tonight. Give a hallelujah shout in the house tonight. Hallelujah. Watch up my dear and powerful word from Pastor Mattox. Hallelujah. We are about to leave this place to go to our several homes. Hallelujah. And you had already received a spiritual word. And as Bishop Pinock say, invite your, our unsafe friends. You know, we cannot come here and get in a revival in this city and not having unsaved here, hearing the word of God and transforming life through, through the word of God. Amen, church? Hallelujah. We had a great time in the presence of God. And we had a great time hearing what God had to say to us through his man servant. We already had the spiritual food and we have some physical food downstairs. So I want you to support us as because this event is costing us something. They are giving us a Titan offering and we have a refreshment downstairs with a causing us a, a, a small amount of money. So I want to encourage you as you go downstairs, as you go to the photo booth, take a photo, support the, the hospitality department. Also, there's some revival Josies downstairs. Hallelujah. You know, we have to wear those Josies in Kingston so that we, people can see that we are revivalists in this land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are revivalists. And when we have our prayer kid, we want to have those revival in the city's Josie's downstairs. 
also is only $50. So please stand with me. Please stand with me as we be dismissed today, tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to take the time again to thank all the, the different churches that came out tonight. We are halfway, but we are not staying at this level. We are building up tomorrow. It's going to be even more greater. Hallelujah. So if you are listening to us via Facebook or Zoom, and you are in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, you can take the ferry over if you're from the Grenadines. If you are in St. Vincent and the mainland, come down to Russell Auditorium and be here with us tomorrow for another powerful night. Hallelujah. So Heavenly Father, right now, God, I cover everyone as we depart this place to go to our several homes, God. I come against every counterattack of the enemy over our lives, God. I pray, God, they cover every means of transportation, oh God. Those that are walking home, oh God. I pray, God, that you take them home safely and bring them back here tomorrow night in your presence once more, God, as we hear from you. In Jesus' name I pray. And everyone say, Amen. Hallelujah.